Good job. Now he's gonna roll him down the hill. <laughs> cat, cat, catty, you animal. Now what? Hello everybody, Drew here for Drew Dad Underground, back with another Drew Reacts on, as you see by the thumbnail and title of this, Tom McDonald Friday. Tom's got a new video called God Mode out today that dropped at 9 o'clock. I was still asleep, just got up because I uh, needed to do this before I ate, so. Hi everybody. With all that in mind... To answer the question of what now? Tom, Tom McDonald now. So, with that in mind, let's fidget around with this. Yeah, that would probably be all right. Let's go full screen with that and see the chat right there. There we go. So, God mode. Got my necklace. Let's see what happens, Tom. So I'm ready when you guys are. Let's go, Hangover Gang. Tom McDonald. God mode. I've been hearing that they think my political music is boring. Tell them I'm sorry. I've been rapping about things that I feel are important. I can talk about how rich I am, all these little rappers that I'm bigger than. I could show you the impact addiction had. <laughs> uh. Beast, Tom, beast mode Tom coming out here. We're important. I can talk about how rich I am, all these little rappers that I'm bigger than. I could show you the impact addiction had, how the liquor turned me to a different man. I'm not the kid who was visiting Disneyland. I'm not a perfect Christian. Have a I'm not the kid that was visiting Disneyland. Yeah, I've never been to Disneyland either. So, And that's another thought that I have. People still taking their kids to Disney. And I know some people will probably disagree with me, and that's fine. It's your right to disagree. But um, <clears throat> if you're taking your kids to Disneyland with all the uh, grooming crap that they put in it to try to groom your children to believe what they believe and this, that, and the other thing. In other words, brainwash your children. You taking them to Disneyland and, and letting them watch those shows says to me that you're okay with that. You're okay that someone else is teaching your children the opposite of family values. Okay. You, you do you. All I know is if I am a parent someday, I'm staying the fuck away from Disney with my kids someday as fucking possible. Just saying. Sinners passed, but I sobered up prescriptions hit and had how the liquor turned me to a different man. I'm not the kid who was visiting Disneyland. I'm not a perfect Christian. Have a sinner's pass, but I sobered up prescriptions hit the trash. Now I'm not a perfect Christian. I have a sinner's past. We all do. Just saying. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Time's not perfect. The only one's perfect is Christ Himself. But even so, he also said and did things that people are not aware of either. Like case in point, flipping tables and calling priests vipers. For those that may not know, vipers in first century is the equivalent of someone calling someone a motherfucker or something just as vile in the modern day. That was Jesus calling people vipers. Let that sink in for just a minute, folks. Christ wasn't perfect, but he was as close, closer than any of us could ever get. He also conquered death and sin in a battle we could never win. So there's that, too. 
the addiction had how the liquor turned me to a different man i'm not the kid who was visiting disneyland i'm not a perfect christian have a sinner's past but i sobered up prescriptions hit the trash now i'm sitting back with 50 billboard plaques 20 million dollars and a million fans middle fingers flipping i can't flip them back i'm so independent so they get the message i've been spitting facts i'm not a fiction fan i am the truth i am the goat i am the proof you can reach every one of your goals you can be too drunk way too high but it's never too late to have hope i am the one i'm gonna preach you can reach every one of your dreams you can be up against the whole entire world Nova going nuts with the editing again with the floating cars here. Much like in Stronger Version, only there's more of them this time. I am the truth. I am the goat. I am the proof. You can reach every one of your goals. You can be too drunk, way too high, but it's never too late to have hope. I am the one. I'm going to preach. You can reach every one of your dreams. You can be up against the whole entire world and you can beat them if you just believe. They've been saying I'm Illuminati and I'm going to hell. They're desperately searching for any excuse to explain why I've done what they can't do themselves. The only way they can make sense of my famous claim I worship Satan and labels of health. I don't have an advantage. It's natural talent. Your ego is damaged. Admit that you failed. I remember back when I was the only political rapper what the hell happened all of a sudden everyone who never gave a damn got political and started rapping tragic i should be flattered man i created the genre they practically jacked it acting like they're in the conversation they ain't nowhere near it on a different planet this is not youtube this is upper echelon president of sony on my telephone i get what i want how i want when i want until the day that i'm dead and gone the internet in love with beef hey tom if you got the president of sony on the phone can you do me a favor and tell him to cut out the woke shit at PlayStation? Just saying. Because if you have that kind of clout, can you throw us PlayStation people or us gamers a bone? Just, just saying, Tom. Make a call, please. Want when I want until the day that I'm dead and gone. The internet in love with beef, they want rappers at war. But I don't care who's coming at me, I swore that I wouldn't do this is no more. The last time I battled the man that I trampled, lost his career and then had a divorce. That wasn't fair. Homie got told. That'd be Mac Lethal. I remember that very well. Lost his career and then had a divorce. That wasn't fair. Homie got torched. I feel the weight like I'm carrying around a corpse. Still no deal. Still no team. Still just little old me. Still making fun of the whole industry. Still rap on my own beats. I'm the only multimillionaire in my family tree. I keep hearing rumors that my parents rich and that's how I got in the lead. That's a big L-I-E. If you want to know the truth, I guess. I can show you why I move like this. Let me take you back into my head. Tell you about the... Tom actually showing us his house and his thing here <laughs> that's the thing people that are not ashamed of their setup this that and the other thing of what they're doing will show it to you that reminds me of a video i've wanted to do for since i was in minnesota showing you guys my setup here because i'm not ashamed of this i also wasn't ashamed of my setup in minnesota either and that looked a lot different. Well, not a lot different, but different. Maybe one day. But back to Tom. It's, let me take you back into my head. Tell you about the movie I live. For alcoholic, nothing in my wallet. Every doctor said that I was depressed. Should be in a coffin or inside a cardboard box and addicted to meth. I was sleeping on my best friend's couch. I was dreaming of a West End house. We was living in the basement, sweet east side, praying we'd get out. Motorcycles on the front lawn, bunch of crackheads in the alley. Open up my bedroom window and tell them there's empty bottles they can have. Cops at the door, I couldn't sleep. Making up noodles to eat for a week. I couldn't stomach the food I was making if I was in high school. I always had weed. Leaving the crib and the neighbors are tripping. I flip them the bird, I ain't stopping it. Okay, thank you for finally pausing. Jeez. Yeah, I know the struggle to uh, try to have food in the house. I went through that on a daily basis right near the end of when I was living in Minnesota, so... I can appreciate referencing that because I also lived that myself. I'm not dealing with that today in Arizona. I'm living just fine with what I have here. I'm not wanting for food. We got plenty of food in the house now. <clears throat> there's nothing that there's nothing that I have to worry about right now. So other than having time to do things like this. Or play games on stream. That's that's my only concern anymore. That wasn't a concern in Minnesota. Everything else was. Now, 
all the other stuff is no longer my concern. Because I don't have to worry about it because I have what I need here in Arizona now. But because uh, of, of work and how often I do work, outside of today, because got today off, because yesterday at work, they were like, hey, do you, do you, do you guys want to have BTO, which is voluntary time off for Friday? And we're like, yeah. So I could do this sooner than stuff at 6 p.m. too. But the point I'm trying to make is here, <clears throat> Tom talking about his struggles. I had some of those struggles too. Not the alcohol and addiction, but a lot of the other ones. Which is why, uh, <clears throat> sorry for my voice crack in there. I, uh, what was I trying to say? Oh, yeah. Tom <clears throat> appeals to me, not really because of his music, but because of the struggles that he's been through. Because some of them I've been through myself. So let's finally get back to it. Sorry for that side street. I always had weed, leaving the grip and the neighbors are tripping. I flip them the bird, I ain't stopping to talk. They leaving us notes on the passenger window because we always park in the whip and they spot. Ten in the morning, we sipping on forties and taking the hottest civic up the block. Looking for one of my homies who living on the street because he got addicted to rocks. Waiting in line at church, they giving out food. I would pull up every second Sunday, get some hard rolled eggs and juice. That was the move. I was a broke boy, then I blew up. I was suicidal, yeah, the mood sucked. Now I've been rich, I done made hits. I've been praying, I don't screw it up. And now that I've blown up, they're mad that I've grown up. They missing my old stuff. They say my political music's all sounding the same and the flow suck. I'm never gonna be the old Tom or recapture the magic of old songs. I don't know, Tom. You the GOAT, Tom. Give me what I want or I will go, Tom. Shut up! I'm not the guy that you fell in love with back when I was young and dumb. Always getting drunk, taking hella drugs, living in the ghetto, no food for a month. Couldn't pay the power bill, the shower filled with towels, mold and hella bugs. That was the old Tom. That was broke Tom. Stop saying you miss who I was. Now you can give me all the Gucci, give me all the Louis, give me everything I want at once. Give me Lamborghinis, give me all my flowers, give you everything I have to do be loved. Now they call me racist and they say I'm canceled, but I guarantee you that there will be blood. I ain't going nowhere, I ain't stopping nothing, I'ma really go there, I don't give a... I'm the best thing going right now, they can't mess with me! I've been up, I've been down, I climbed out my grave, I'll be great! Wait! Before today and I'll be great till I decide to walk away! And I'm the one you have to thank for every independent artist getting billboard plaques. I showed everybody how to beat the record labels and still I don't get no thanks. Everybody who been hating on me got these every- Chris Webby comes to mind with beating back the system with his music and getting no thanks as well. A thought just crossed my mind. A thought that would really make the weirdos freak the fuck out. A collaboration between Webby and Tom, as in Chris Webby and Tom McDonald. A guy can dream, can he? Artists getting billboard plaques. I showed everybody how to beat the record labels, and still I don't get no thanks. Everybody who been hating on me got these every little thing I'm doing. I mean, they dress like me, sign CDs, no one is buying their music. I'm the blueprint for these YouTube kids. Every single little view you get, every time you get an iTunes check, you just imitate what I do best. I'm on Fox News, I'm on Rolling Stone, in the New York Times, on the radio, got a billion views, Millie on the gram. You still paying to be verified, man. I am the reason that Billboard removed all the digital sales charts off their website. I was outperforming label artists and executives pressured them to hit the red light. Universal, Warner Music, Sony, CEOs wanted me dead, but they ain't never gonna really kill me. They just cancel the digital charts instead. Stop telling me that anyone else is bigger than I am. Go get the Nielsen sound scan numbers. Tell me what you find, man. Who's the biggest I am? They're angry that I love America. Guess it's a problem because I'm Canadian. I live in the States. I gave 200 grand to the veterans. I am a patriot. I am a faking this. I don't need to keep on making hits. Could have retired three years ago, basically. Go check my bank account, buddy. I'm crazy rich. I don't need money. I rap because I'm made for this. I am only doing this because I love it. I told every record label they can shove it. Rappers hate on me, but I'm above it. 93 Sean Michaels, everyone can suck it. They want photos when they see me out in public. Then they trash me in the comments. What a bummer. I sign autographs. To spill my guts and stomach All I get is people praying that I'll plummet I came a long way Dreamt it this all day 
I should have saw graves, but God saves. I got faith. What a loser. I needed boost to maneuver. Bottles of hooch in the cooler. Now I'm the proof that you can choose to be a trooper and regroup and pursue a future. Be a ruler. Screw all the rumors. That all the dudes will be acting stupid on computers. Hate is a fuel that humans can use to improve themselves if they don't let their wounds ruin. They move it. You can do it and then you can lose it. You can choose to view it through some different pupils. You can shoot for the moon if you miss it. Recoup it and then execute it so you make it through it. There ain't no excuses. The rules are confusing. So break them and use them to find the solution. The truth is you're losing so you are immune and you turn the abuse into your revolution. I've been addicted to plenty of pills. Poor and mentally ill. If I can do it, you can do it. I went from homeless and drunk to turning down record deals. I done got so many wins that I forget the wins. So many plaques inside the crib, they're getting hard to live. They so jealous, I'm just glad that I ain't them. They got I ain't them. They got money, they got pennies, they got dollars, but they ain't been making any sense. They got hundreds, they got thousands, I got ten. Hey, Nova. Nova in the... I didn't know we were going to have Nova Rockefeller in the video. Damn. This really is God mode. <laughs> I ain't them. They got, I ain't them. They got money, they got pennies, they got dollars, but they ain't been making any sense. They got hundreds, they got thousands. I got 10, 11, 15, 20 something names. But this ain't always what my life was like. Honestly, it still give me chills. Way before all of my viral songs, before I was living in Beverly Hills. Way before I went and sobered up, back when me and Brandon couldn't pay the bills. Way back when I should have been locked up, overdosed or getting killed. My sister called me from the hospital, said her job's killing her, and that was a fact. She working overtime. I Tom's sister, too. Let's see where this is going. Often, out of options, having panic attacks. Didn't let her finish talking, told her walk in and to quit and call back. Next thing I know, she's in California and she's working for Hangover Gang. And daddy always told me I was special and one day I would conquer the music business. And I guess he was right, because look at my life. I just bought him a new Porsche for Christmas. And mama worked harder than any woman on earth. Her boss would have never have fired her. I recognized they weren't giving her what she was worth, so I retired her. This ain't white privilege, this ain't trust. Yeah. When I said family values earlier in my reaction, here it is right here. That's the snapshot of family values. The McDonald family. Tom, mom and dad, and his lovely sister. I just bought him a new Porsche for Christmas and mama worked harder than any woman on earth. Her boss would have never have fired her. I recognized they weren't giving her what she was worth. So every my mom works about as hard too. Shout out to all moms out there. And two words for you. Thank you. Tired her. This ain't white privilege, this ain't trust fund, this ain't good luck, this ain't silver spoon, this is hard work, this is long nights, this is all me, this is what I do, this is palm trees and Ferraris and a calm breeze and a pretty view. If you don't believe I deserve it, then you never lived the life I did and you wouldn't make it through. I came out of a city where I still don't get no respect. I moved away and I blew up and everyone else is so stuck in the town that I left. I'm not impressed. And they've been saying my video views are all fake and I honestly hope it helps get them some rest. I'm worth like 30 million mother dollars, all you bums are living check to check. Now everybody is an enemy. Me. They all tell us that I'm a celebrity. Well, screw them, screw the government, screw the record label, screw the mainstream. I'm in God mode, they in peace mode. We are not the same, we ain't equals. And I pray to God that you can deep throat. Got 11 inches for you, weak hoes. Y'all cannot critique me, y'all ain't in my league still. All your hate completes me, I can't be killed. Y'all just wanna be me, maybe be chill. Leave them bleeding in a wheat field. All my missiles heat seek, you can beat me. Homie, keep still. I can tell that you don't eat me. Ton of green beans, you a vegan when the beef's real. Everybody's saying I'm fake, but they're the ones who really faking though, and their songs all on YouTube. Well, my songs on the radio, they claim they hate fame, but they change when they need streams. Then they say names and play games and take game and hate on me. Wait, I got one more thing I gotta say. I don't need any more money. These days I just do it for all of my fans. I pray to God I inspire somebody or show someone who thinks they can't that they can. I'ma keep going till I'm in the coffin. I promise no stopping till I kick the can. To the day that they're dropping my box in the ground, it's hangover gang. <laughs> There's everybody. Jenna McDonald, Jared Potter, 
And the drone was Corey Burns and the video by Nova. So Jenna McDonald. I didn't know what her name was. Yeah. Shut up. So, come on, bring the tab. Thank you. The tab back up. So, that was Tom McDonald. Uh, God mode. Let me guys know what you thought of his video in the chat. And as always, go watch it on Tom's channel for yourself. And after you watch it there, come on back and then get my reaction to everything. And also, while you're over on Tom's channel, go subscribe over there. Go hit the like, which I forgot to do. Fuck. I'll do that in just a few minutes. But go follow Tom. Go subscribe. Go hit the like. Go share God Mode out to piss off the weirdos on Twitter, Instagram, and wherever you guys are. Also, do me a favor, share this out while you're at it, hit the like, subscribe for more reactions to Tom's stuff here, here in Andrew Dead Underground. I am the fire-breathing bear of the underground, as you can see by what I'm wearing. But with all that in mind, thank you guys for checking this out. I love you guys. As we all know, Tom loves all of us, too, in Hangover Gang. And with all that in mind, once the mouse works, here we go. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be safe. Be well. And I don't really have a way to end this properly. So I'll just do it this way. I'll see you guys later.